Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we shall listen to nine chapters from the book of Psalms for guidance and protection. Psalm 28, the Psalm of David, unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock, be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their needs and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert, because they regard not the works of God, the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Psalm 31 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thy ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, thy, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privately for me. For thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regarded lying, banished is, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities, and hast not shut me up into the hand of thy enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. I have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief. Yea, my soul and my belly, for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and of fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mine. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord, I said, O thou art my God. My times are in thy hands. Deliver me from the hands of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them not let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things profoundly and contemptuously against the righteous. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in the pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. I said in my haste, I am cut off before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O love the Lord, all ye his saints. For the Lord preserveth the faithful, and plentiful rewarded the proud doer. You have good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Psalm 35, a Psalm of David. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for divine help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded, and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back, and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be a shop before the wind, 
Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee? which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him. Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid, laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the objects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not, and they did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in face they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul for, from their destructions, my darling, from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yeah, they opened their mouth against me and said, Aha, aha, for I had seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Keep that silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Steer up thyself and awake for to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, oh, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up.